Hi everyone. If you're frequently swamped by the sheer volume of legal documents that need redacting, you'll know that manual redacting not only takes up valuable time, but also increases the risk of making errors, which can have major consequences for compliance and client confidentiality. In this video, I'll show you how to streamline your workflow, improve your redaction process, reduce errors, and save time using Redactable. If you don't know what Redactable is, it's a cloud-based AI-powered automated reduction tool that we'll be using to securely and permanently remove sensitive information from our legal documents. So what the tool will do is that it will help you move away from time-consuming and error-prone manual reduction methods because it's 98% faster than manual methods and it offers a lot more features than traditional tools like Adobe. So when you log in from any browser and you go to your dashboard, this is where all your projects and your recent files will be stored. So it acts as a document management system that updates versions of documents automatically when team members work on that document. When you're uploading files to Redactable, you'll get um, various options here to upload. And what you'll get to do is also collaborate with other team members here on this section here. Here's where you can access your redaction log or audit trail, which would otherwise be difficult to track with manual redactions. And you can also get um, redaction certificates whenever you redact documents. Here's where you can tour Redactable's platform. And this is the help section. In this video, we'll be redacting contracts and technical documents from the Mediterranean Bytes file. So if I click on the patents licensing agreement, for instance, and we click redact, Redactable has multiple redaction types to choose from. So you have manual, search text, categories, and auto redaction. I'll click on auto redact to test it out. You also have the option of just clicking auto here or redact wizard to access the auto redaction feature. So redaction wizard has suggested 22 redactions. And what we're doing here is we're using AI to automatically find confidential data and suggested for redactions. Here you can type in the terms that you want to exclude from your search results. So once the redaction wizard has made suggestions for you, you need to review that it's selected the correct information that needs to be redacted and you checkbox everything that it's suggested. And what you can also do is you can use the manual redaction tool to um, redact any information that it's left out. So it's basically like a, te a text box that you draw around the information and then that's been redacted. Once we've selected all the information that we want included in the redacted file, we hit redact items and then we hit redaction preview. And what you'll get to see is um, a preview of all your redactions and how it will look like on the final copy. And you can make further edits to your documents like Bates numbering. If you're working on a team, you can look at the redaction history for each redaction. So in this case, um, you can add the reasons for redacting that information. And let's just say um, it's confidential information and we want to apply it to all the redactions in this document. And then um, you can always delete a redaction or redactions. What you can also do is you can change the color of redactions. So let's try and change the color of all the redactions to say red, save. And then if you wanna see the changes that we've just made, you just hit preview. What you can also do is you can add comments to your document. So it's just add comment, comment. And then as comments appear on this side here, you can always search um, various comments and you can um, reply, edit, resolve or delete. It's also important to note that when you finish downloading um, your final copy, those comments won't appear. If I download my finalized document, this is what it'll look like. So you'll find um, all the information has been redacted and there's the reason for the redaction on top of that highlighted box. And then the comments um, don't appear on your finalized document. The redacted information has permanently been removed. And that's important to note because a lot of lawyers cover information under these black text box and then they think that the information has been uh, completely removed. But then what someone can do is they can copy and then paste into Microsoft Word and see all the information that you intended to redact. So using a tool like Redactable is a quick and efficient way to ensure complete data protection by removing both the visible content and hidden metadata. This is one of the problems of using PDF editors. They don't protect your data by removing it permanently, and you don't want to have PDFs with sensitive data lying around in your desktop or Adobe history. If you're looking for your redaction certificate, um, you just have, go, have to go back to your files, click on the three dots of the document that you've just redacted, and then you download certificate.
Now we're going to look at a technical document that has diagrams, charts, and engineering pictures and drawings. I'll try redacting this manufacturing process document, and then we can look at the other features. You can choose to redact entire pages. So you just click um, redact page, select the page you want to page or pages you want to redact, and then add redactions. And if you go to page 11, you'll find the entire page has been redacted. What you can also do is you can redact a um, certain area or image if you want. So you can draw the redaction. And then that picture, diagram, or chart has been redacted. And then you can um, redact any text that you want redacted. So if you don't necessarily want the diagram but just want the text to be redacted, you just draw a text box over that information. Redactable also has a find and replace feature, which you can find useful. It's on this left-hand side here. You can imagine on a 47-page document, hitting Control F and then manually redacting each word would be kind of time consuming. So let's say we want to look for the word um, manufacturing, search, and then it will find everywhere in the document where the word manufacturing has been used. And then you can uh, select whatever information you want on top of that redacted information. And so you can either do a match case search or a match whole word search. In this case, we're going to try out match whole word search. And then you can select replace all. And then as you can see, it's gone through the entire document and redacted everywhere that says manufacturing. Now let's look at the redactions by categories feature and we're going to test it out on this quality control sheet. First, you click Categories, and then we want to select the types of information we want redacted from our spreadsheet. So we'll select links, dates, um, full names, last names, company names, amounts, ETC, email addresses, um, and anything else you want to redact. And then we hit Search. So it's pretty much highlighted all the information we want to redact. But let's say there's some information that you want to exclude that you don't need redacted. Um, you select the category and you'll find that um, here it's highlighted in, in different colors and that helps you identify which category that's fallen under. Let's say you wanna remove a name in this company name category. You select company name. Let's say we wanna remove um, Boston Scientific Corporation. We select the three dots here and then we say remove all and that will um, deselect Boston Scientific Corporation. Let's say you want to redact information from this column, but you don't want to redact the entire column. You can uh, still use manual redaction to redact that information. If you're happy with all the suggestions that it's made, so it's found 199 matches, um, all you have to do is uh, select all items and then redact that information. And then as you can see, it's redacted that information. Then you can finalize your redactions. So that's it for this video. Thanks, everyone. You can try Redactable for free. Just click the link in the description. And when you want to purchase a subscription, you can get a 20% discount when you use my coupon code in the video description. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks.